All right, happy Revenge of the Fifth. Um, so um, I've actually made a lot of updates to uh, the edit color section, the, the color menu within edit mode. Um, so I've actually gone, there's been a couple iterations, so I know uh, some of my previous videos, if you've seen it, um, this is gonna be a little bit different, but it actually, to me, it's better. Um, but I kind of wanted to explain the premise, and then I'll walk you through it. So um, one of the, the last version had what I was calling like a dynamic control where the speed of how fast you were turning your hilt um, was adjusting the colors, um, so you could easily jump through colors. Um, and it worked okay, but it, it kind of got, um, in terms of the code that made it run, it was a lot of code for very little benefit, and it also had it could get a little bit kind of annoying um, at certain times if you wanted to get the thing. So I actually rethought it. Um, and now there's actually going to be, essentially there's going to be four options in color editing. Um, and I'll, I'll walk through everything, but the new addition um, I think is actually going to be really helpful for a lot of people. So uh, myself included, typically on your blades, uh, your main blade and your main, and then all your different effects, there's really, you know, a lot of us get kind of comfortable with certain colors. Um, and while the color wheel is great because it can hit pretty, it can hit every color possible, plus with the new, obviously with the new edit mode, being able to darken and brighten the blade, we can technically hit every color that NeoPixels can do, um, but that actually could be too much for some people. Um, so the new option I'm calling color list. And what it is, is it's actually going to be a built-in list. Um, my default right now has 26 colors and they're predefined colors. Um, that I've chosen now from my library primarily, but I added more. Um, and essentially, it's 20 what I consider base colors, um, and then six effect colors. Um, but you can obviously mix and match if you wanted to have different, you know, primary colors for your blast or your clash. You can do that. Um, but so the concept is within the prop file is actually a predefined list of colors. The color list mode will actually let you just cycle through those. And you can put them in any order you like to. So I did mine in Roy G. Biv, and then I end with different white mixes. Um, and the white mixes I usually use for clashes and lockups and blasts, but I obviously did white, um, but then I did silver. Um, I did the blanched almond, I did lemon chiffon. I did all the colors that I did for the various um, cannon-based lockups and clashes and blasts, um, and they're in there. And then I did all the different colors, and I kind of go, you know, red, uh, dark, uh, red, orange, red, dark orange, orange, yellow, etc., all the way through all the main colors. Um, and I put some custom colors in there, like my gold blade, my purple color, uh, my indigo from the Fallen Order, um, and just kind of fleshed it out. So there's going to be the color list, and what the color list will do is it'll let you choose, if you use the default, it'll let you choose from any of the 26 colors that are already loaded. And you can use them for any of the effects, the base blade, the blast, the clash, lockup, etc. Um, or you can do what's called now adjust color U. And adjust color U, that's the color wheel. But the, the color wheel is, uh, we refer to it as U because uh, Frederick set it up as being the HSL value. Um, so you can adjust, so you can, you can combo this stuff. Um, so say you go to the color list, you pick a color you like, but it's a little bit off from what you're looking for you can actually still go in and adjust it. And there's actually two ways to adjust it, which I'll show. Then they're gonna be the adjust white level, and that's to brighten the blade to white. So you can have any color, you can brighten it up to a white blade um, or bring it back down. And then there's adjust black level, and adjust black level is gonna be dimming the blade. So you can have a color, but you can dim that color for a specific effect um, all the way down to, I think we go to about 1%. We don't go black because for the NeoPixels, black actually means off, so that would tell your saber to go off for that effect, and we don't want that. Um, so basically, I'm going to walk through it all, uh, but I just wanted to explain it. So the, the dynamic control has actually been removed, and now there's going to be four modes, um, and you can go into them as often as you want to kind of get to the perfect color. Um, also, previously in the dynamic control, I had it so you would change the blade angle to set between the white, the color, and the black. And again, while it was, it was a kind of a unique approach to it. Um, what it involved and the usage actually, it, it kind of ended up being a little bit clunky in some certain places and it actually in some places I could see where it would get a little confusing so I took that away so now you actually go each mode individually. Um, but I added a zoom to this so there is the color wheel zoom in color change. There is a zoom option. The control is going to be slightly different just because the menu has a little bit different controls to it. Uh, but I'll show that as well. And what the zoom will do is it'll let you actually, once you get too close to a color you want, 
you'll go into zoom mode and what it'll do is the rotation will make minor changes instead of being larger changes so it gives you that added control but it's a secondary thing so you can get to the color you want in color list or in the adjust color and then when you get near what you want if you can't get it perfect you'll go into zoom mode and what it'll do is it'll slow down the rotation so you, it'll take a bigger rotation to change the color and that lets you kind of fine tune it uh, but let's go into edit mode I know that was a lot of talking um, so we're going to go into edit mode edit mode so I'm in edit mode I'm going to go to edit color so first I'm going to edit style edit style this is edit color edit color and again, thanks to Brian. Brian's helped me. Uh, I've been making a lot of changes and tweaks, so he's been helping me with updated sounds. So I'm in at a color. So now it's going to tell me I'm in the color menu. Color menu. So within the color menu, you have color options. Color options. Those are the four options I was referring to. You're also going to have reset colors. Reset colors. Now I haven't done anything, but you could reset the colors to default, which is what's going to be in your original config. Uh, but let's go back to color options. Color options. Select effect. So now you're going to select the effect. So you're going to have any effect. And again, this is controlled by the style. So the style has to be set up in order to make the colors editable. Um, but the, the menu actually reads what colors of this style are editable and lets me select them. So I'll just do a couple samples. So Base color. So I've got base color. Alt color. The alt color, which is the secondary color. Blast color. The blast color. Clash color. The clash color. Lock up color. Lock up color. Lock up, etc. Lock up color, flash color, blast color, old color, base color. So I'm going to go into base color. Select option. So now it's going to let me select from those four options. Color list. So this is the color list. So if I go into color list, it's going to be now my color list starts with red. So, but then it's got the orange red. Oops, I skipped. That's orange. That's orange red orange, yellow, uh, green, yellow, but these are all predefined colors, so it's not the color wheel. These are colors that are actually defined in the prop, and it'll cycle through them. And like I said, I think there's 26 in here, so that's a purple, an indigo, magenta, a pink, and then this is silver, and now from silver on is going to be kind of what we consider clashes, lockups, blast effects, but you can use them for blades too. So there's going to be some variations on whites. And then we get to pure white. Um, and then you would save it, um, but I'm going to go back around to red. And actually, so now, if I like a color, I can just click the power button, it'll save it. So we'll do that. Save color options. So now it's saved the color. Now say I wanted to adjust this slightly. You can do adjust color hue. Adjust color hue. And what's it going to do? It's going to take that color from the color list, but now it's going to let me adjust it. And the zoom is also available on color list, but I'll show the zoom on here. Um, and the zoom's a little different control. So I'm going to go into adjust color hue. And now I can turn it and obviously this is going to be the full 360 degrees does all the colors um, so you can jump through pretty quickly but let's get back to around where we want to be now if I want to zoom it uh, so if I have a color I like I'll just click the power but if I want to zoom I'm going to hold a long hold and release on the power button and you'll hear kind of a zoom sound so now I'm in zoom mode so now it actually slows down my selection so I can get it just perfect and then I hit power to save. Save color options. So now it'll let you kind of dial in even closer. And then again we can also adjust white level. So say I want to brighten this orange, I can go into white level. And now as I turn up, I can actually add white to this blade until you get to pure white. Or I can bring it back down. Setting. And the minimum setting means there's no white added. So, and maximum setting means pure white. Um, so let's save that. Save color options. And then I can adjust. So say I want to actually darken this a little. I can go adjust black level. Adjust the black level. And now you can dim. And actually, the first beginning of dim doesn't actually show up great on camera. It's not until you get to around 50% that you really notice it. 
but you can really dim that color down if you wanted, or you can bring it back up. Maximum setting. The maximum setting means there's no black on this saver, so I can save that. Save color options. So those are your, um, so that's the ability. Now in the, um, let me go back to the color list. Color list. So color list, again, this is going to be that predetermined list. So let's go find a color we kind of like. So say you wanted to just make a small adjustment to one of the ones from the list. You can also go to zoom mode from here. Again, if I just click power, it's going to save that specific color from the list. But if I do a long hold and release on power, it's going to make a little zoom noise. And then I'm in zoom mode where I can fine tune this. So I'm in zoom mode, and I can make small, just smaller adjustments to the color, and then click power to save. Save color options. So now I've kind of dialed in that color even further. So the addition of the zoom on top of both the color list and the adjust color view um, really gives you even more control. Um, the uh, you know just to be able to do uh, get to the exact color you want, and of course mixing in whites, mixing in the um, blacks. But now let's go. So I'm going to go back up a level with the aux button. Cancel. Select effect. So now I can pick another effect. Old color. Blast color. So let's pick my blast color. Select option. So now I can pick again. Color list. So I'm going to pick color list. And that's my blast effect currently set. But I can dial through again all the color list options. Obviously, I don't want to do green or yellow on a yellow blade because it'll be kind of washed out. But you can dial around. And again, these are the preset 26 colors. So now I'm getting that's a purple, indigo, magenta, pink, and now I'll go. Oh, that was pink. And then I'm in silver. And then that's one of the whitish colors. So you can kind of get to the one you want. Actually, the silver might be better. No. So you can get to the one you want and then save it. Or again, if I wanted to dial this in a little more, I can go into the zoom. Uh, but let's save it. Save color option. So now I've saved my blast. And then you can just repeat through all of your different effects and, and set those colors however you want. Um, and actually, I'm going to back up. Cancel. Select effect. Cancel. Color menu. So now I'm in the color menu. Preset colors. So now I can also say I did a bunch of changes and I don't like them. I want to go back to my preset. I can go... Confirm selection. So in reset colors, you have to confirm by turning right. Confirm. And then press power. Accept color menu. And then it erases all the color changes. So if you were playing around with colors and you don't like what you had, you can always revert back all the way to what was in the config when you uploaded it. Um, or when I'm in a specific color, so say I made a bunch of color changes and then I'm in like my lockup color and I kind of got to a color but I don't like it, I want to go back to the original. While you're in any of the color modes, if you hit the aux button, it will revert to that specific mode. The actual reset colors resets all the colors within this style um, on this blade. So if you have multiple blades, you can handle each blade individually. Um, but so uh, a lot of changes, but I think a lot of big improvements for the edit coloring or editing color menu. Um, and uh, I pretty much have this done. I got to do a little cleanup on the code. Um, but this piece is done. A couple more pieces are nearly done. So we're getting close. Uh, but I wanted to share and uh, lots more coming. So hope color you enjoy. Options. Oops, I'm still in the menu. Cancel main menu. Exit. Now I'm out. So hope you enjoy.